So first things first, is it a prism or is it a pyramid? Well, two bases connected, no pointy top, this is a prism. And they want us to find the surface area. So what kind of prism is it? Well, it's a triangular prism. The base is two triangles connected. So that's a triangular prism. And so I want to find my lateral area. And my lateral area is going to be the perimeter of the base times the height. So I've shaded the base, I know where my base is, and I just need the perimeter of this thing. So I walk around, start at the, here, I need to add 6 plus 8 plus O oh crud, I don't know that. So you could do a little Pythagorean theorem, or you could recognize this as 6, 8, and 10. If you did a 6 squared plus 8 squared gives you C squared, you would get that C is 10. And when you add those all up to get the perimeter, 18, 24. So 24 for the uh, perimeter of the base, and then you need times the height of the entire prism. So the height is what connects the two bases, so this base and that base are connected with a height of 4. So I need 24 times 4, and that gives me, I'm just making sure I match with their answer, uh, 96. So that's the lateral area. And then, so that's good. And then they want the total surface area. Now, notice that on my formula sheet, I don't have a formula for total surface area because I think that's silly. Because I can tell that if I, my lateral area just found me around the area around the sides without the two bases. So if I just find the area of the base, I can just get that my surface area is the lateral area and then tack on two bases. I write it like a formula, but don't memorize it like a formula. So the base, going back to the base, you want to find the area of that. It's a triangle. One half the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. So just look at that and ignore the rest of it. The base and the height of the triangle are perpendicular, the 8 and the 6. So it's uh, half of 8 is 4 times 6 is 24. So I can get the area of the whole thing by taking my lateral area plus two bases. So 96 plus 2 times 24 gives me 144 and we're quite happy.